What do you think of Rheem vs. Bryant heat pumps? Rheem is one of the big HVAC companies, though Train and Carrier are more widely known. I heard Rheem is better than companies like Rood and American Standard. Rheem owns Rood, but the units are so poorly made I understand why they didn't put the Rheem name on it. What do you think of Rheem's warranty? Rheem's warranty is theoretically for terms up to 10 years, depending on the components. Needless to say, the parts with the longest warranty are those least likely to break. I do not care much about the warranty, because I should not use it much. I do care about the heat pump's effect on my electric bill. Rheem has 9 different lines of heat pumps. The most efficient ones are 16 seer, while the cheapest Rheem heat pumps are 13 seer. That seems rather low. A lot of air conditioners by train are 18 seer or even approaching 20 seer. Heat pumps are less efficient than air conditioners and furnaces. That's the price you pay for only needing one piece of HVAC equipment. What do you think of Bryant heat pumps? Bryant's heat pumps get almost two bad reviews for every positive one. It isn't their best heat pump. I thought they made several different grades of heat pumps. The Legacy is their cheap version, with a SEER around 16. The mid-level preferred series has a SEER of 16.5. I would prefer a more efficient heat pump. Especially since it will literally run all the time. The Evolution is their best heat pump, with a SEER that can reach 19. Meaning it will usually be 18 SEER. That's still a significant improvement over their 16 SEER cheaper models. How reliable are the units? They are about as reliable as Rheem. Their warranties are as annoyingly short, and they do not carry over to you if you buy a house with a Rheem heat pump. I'm getting a Rheem.